important. So he was a gentleman who'd been in the, he'd been in the ICU for a little while, mm -hmm. actually. He'd been very sick, and that's not common on the cardiac ICU. That's usually a pretty quick turnover. So whenever you see someone with an increasing length of stay, that obviously um, is a flag to, to check in. And we had known that heart failure had been involved too. And, um, you know, he unfortunately wasn't in a position medically to be talking to us very much. So. Um, we needed to talk to his wife, um, who unfortunately, I didn't have language, I didn't, I don't speak Amharic and she didn't speak English terribly well. So we had to work with an, through an interpreter to really learn what was happening. This gentleman had been in the coronary intensive care unit and had had a date scheduled to be sworn in as a U.S. citizen, but missed it because he was here in the hospital. And I think that was kind of where things were. And Sarah's notes to me indicated, you know, that we need to figure out some way to try and help this situation. And I think I called one of the um, chief attorneys for MedStar, and she gave me the name of an immigration attorney who does some corporate work for MedStar. It wasn't overnight, it took a lot of work, including Dr. Ruiz getting on the phone with his contacts. And it became yes. kind of much bigger than just the two of us. The attorney was able to arrange that so that a judge and his assistant came to the coronary intensive care unit. They lightened his sedation and he was holding a flag, his wife was holding a flag and he was sworn in as a citizen of the United States. You see so many stories that add, end in such sad ways. It was really nice. I mean, it was obviously very tragic because he passed, but to be able to see someone achieve a dream before that happened was, um, I mean, that's something you don't ever forget. And I'm really grateful to that patient and that family for giving us the opportunity and to, to be able to try and do a little good um, and to help them out. I'm Sarah Trito. And I'm Karen Weingart. And we're recipients of the Moral Courage Award for 2014. And we personally make a difference.